Hi YouTube and welcome to day two of Crochet Miss. Yesterday we made these fun little stockings on day one. You can find the replay here on my YouTube channel. If this is your first time with Crochet Miss and you don't know what's going on, let me introduce myself. Hi, my name's Ashley. I am the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind A Crafty Concept. And I started doing 10 days of Crochet Miss. This year, 2022, is my first year doing it, and I'm hoping to do it every year because it's already been so much fun. What is 10 Days of Crochet Miss? I go live on my Instagram for the first 10 days of December and make one of the free crochet patterns on my blog that would make a very excellent Christmas gift or something that your audience could gift during Christmas that you could sell to them. If you wanna join in on the fun for this year, there's a link in the description where you can sign up to join the Crochet Miss VIP list. Once you get on that list, you will get a welcome email that gives you the calendar, kinds of links and resources, a marketing packet for you. All this kinds of stuff is free in the welcome email. And then you will get daily reminder emails every single morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to remind you that today is a crochet miss day. What time is the live? What pattern are we doing? What materials do you need? All that good stuff so you can get all your supplies together and crochet with me during the live. Another thing that you will get in all of the Crochet Miss Morning emails is a freebie. We have designed a freebie to go with all of the 10 patterns that we will be going over for the next 10 days. Yesterday's freebie for the mini stockings was a sheet of marketing tips that came with three marketing ideas to help you market and sell your crochet mini stockings to your audience this year. Each idea came with researched keywords that you can use in your Etsy listings and a list of photography tips slash suggestions for how to photograph your stockings for that specific marketing idea. Today, we are making the crafty facial rounds and I don't have one with me yet. We will be making them here in just a few minutes. But the freebie for today is a sheet of product tags to help you display the pricing and what your even what your facial rounds even are at your markets. Because some people might see these squishy little things and not know what they are. But when they look at your product tag, they see what they're used for. They read what they're used for and they see the price tag so they don't have to ask you, hey, how much are these? And then you say they're eight dollars and then they be like, okay, we can avoid all of that. They can see the price clearly and it will help lead to more sales. I think I got all of the introductions out of the way. I'm getting ready to go live. It's gonna be a really good time. I'm so happy you're here. So let's grab our hooks and our yarn and get ready to make a crafty facial round together. Hello, 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 friends. Welcome to day two of Crochet Miss. So excited to be having another day with you guys. So excited that it was early in the day so we, I could do it as soon as possible because we had so much fun yesterday and I missed chatting and hanging out with you guys. Today, good morning. Today we, so let's just do a little recap. Yesterday we made the Bitty Boho stocking. This was the one that I had made before the live and then this was the one that I made during the live and we answered questions, we talked some tips about faux fur and how to use faux fur, we chatted, we had some giveaways, we had a really good time. Yesterday we gave away a sticker and some notebooks and some PDFs. Today we're gonna give away two stickers and two PDFs. So we, no notebooks today, um, but maybe tomorrow. We're gonna just keep mixing it up, keeping it fresh. Good morning, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm so happy to see some familiar faces from yesterday. And then tomorrow is uh, Saturday, so we might have um, a new bunch coming in tomorrow because it is a weekend. So um, also I wanted to let you guys know that this crochet pattern just went live. It is on my blog at acraftyconcept.com. I haven't had a chance to add it to the free patterns tab yet, but it is the first thing that you see if you go to acraftyconcept.com. There's a video, it's on my YouTube channel. There's a freebie that goes with it. Hey, Sierra. Um, all good things for the crochet Christmas lights pattern. I'm also wearing them on my head, which you can't see right now, but you'll be able to see if you watch the replay on YouTube and you'll be able to see it when I close this out here at the end. But, oh, 5 p.m. My goodness. But if we um, just just know in your in your head that I am I am wearing Christmas light headband right now, and I will show you as soon as we close out for the day. Let's look at the stickers we're gonna give away. We're gonna give away another Crochet Miss sticker. I'm also wearing a Crochet Miss t-shirt. I will show you at the end of this video when I say goodbye. Good morning, 
And we're going to give away the ever popular Yarnivore sticker right here. It's a little, a little three horn yarn ball dinosaur. So both of these stickers are going to be given away throughout this live. I'm also going to give away two copies of the Crafty Facial Rounds PDF to somebody. And these are open internationally. Um, so no matter where you live, you can, you can enter to win a sticker or the PDF. Okay, let's go ahead and go over the supplies that we're going to need for the day. We're going to be making crafty facial rounds, which are little face scrubbies that are circular that you can use to wipe off your makeup, or I use mine to actually rinse my face because if I try to splash water on my face, it gets me in the entire bathroom soaking wet. So I just get my facial round wet and rinse parts of my face repeatedly until my whole all the soap is taken off my face. But I definitely use it to remove my makeup before I wash my face so I'm not getting soap and makeup smooched all around my face. I just don't like that. It's just personal preference. But I use mine daily, sometimes twice a day. You're going to need an L crochet hook. This is an 8.0 millimeter crochet hook. And you could also go a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger if that's all you had. If you have one smaller and one bigger, I would choose bigger because this, the, the bigger your hook, the bigger your stitches, and then the softer the facial round is on your skin. If you go really tight, the facial round is going to get a little bit more rough, which if you're going for an exfoliating facial round, that's going to be your that's going to be your ticket right there. But we're going to do an L right now. You're also going to need an I. You could also use an H or a J if that's what you have. Um, 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is for the border of our crafter. Buenos dias! This is for the border of our crafty facial rounds, which is optional. You could leave the border off if you wanted to. I have a bunch of half-finished facial rounds that don't have borders on them that I just put in my bathroom because I needed more because I was going through them so quickly. And they work just as well, and I, I kind of like them because the cotton is a different texture than the polyester um, blanket yarn, and it's, it's really nice, but they do curl a lot when I get them out of the washer and the dryer. So I have to like reshape them every time. So it might not be the best way to have for your customers because they're going to be like, wow, these things are so curly and it, it might, you know, create some bad, some bad thoughts. You're going to need some Bernat blanket yarn or any blanket yarn of your choice. This is Bernat blanket yarn in the color white. I have my whole skein over here, um, but I went ahead and pulled off a whole bunch that I'll need for today. So hopefully we won't have any yarn bomb problems. And you're going to need, I like to use white. The If you didn't know this, these crafty facial rounds were inspired by a facial round called Halo. Face Halo, I think is what they're called. And theirs were white with a black border. And I was trying to replicate the face Halo, so I made mine white. The face Halos are obviously more expensive. And they're made with micro, microfiber material so apparently that's supposed to be really good for like getting deep down in your pores i don't know if that's legit or not but this was the closest thing to microfiber yarn that i could find wow my phone on okay that's weird that's switching camera lenses anyway um if they ever make a microfiber yarn i will be the first one to make something out of it probably something for my face but for now blanket yarn does the trick this is polyester though it is not microfiber like the face halos and then you're going to need some cotton yarn this is just worsted weight cotton this is dishy cotton from we crochet and i can't remember what they call it striped or something but i really like the look of this twisted black and white i think it is so cute and so timeless um so that's the why i grabbed this one i just i'm all about the black and white vibes here i think it's going to be really fun and really cool when it's finished i like to if you Want to sell crafty facial rounds in your shop? I would suggest choosing colors that are on brand for your business that your ideal customer would be attracted to. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you sell boho colored things, then you should have boho colored trim around your crafty facial rounds. So mustard, dark olive, terracotta, things like that. If you do light and airy, maybe you stick to more like a softer colors, like soft pink or a very light shade of sage green so choose the colors that make sense to your ideal customer so when they see them they go wow and they're they immediately think i need that i have to have that that needs to be in my life right now <coughs> i'm sorry i have to go cough like a good cough <coughs> i am sorry <coughs> that is not that is not helping <coughs> we're gonna just Try to go with it. Um, for some reason, I think this is like stained. I'm gonna 
cut it off a little bit further down. Oh, another thing about blanket yarn is if you don't have scissors next to you, you can just break it. I love that because I've been making a lot of crafty boho slippers for Christmas and I love not having to get up to get scissors because I can just pop it off. No big deal. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the free pattern on my blog since it's been a hot minute since I made one of these. To get to it, you can go to a craftyconcept.com, click the free patterns button, and then we're going to scroll all the way down past all of these cuties because it has been a hot minute. <clears throat> do, do, do. Oh, there it is. And we're going to click on that picture and it is going to open up the pattern for us. And that's what I'm going to be reading off of. Thank you. Gabe just brought me some apple juice to help me with my throat. <clears> throat> I don't know why it's doing that. <clears throat> I hope I don't have to clear my throat the whole time. That would be super annoying for you guys, and I apologize in advance. Okay, we're going to start by taking our 8 millimeter crochet hook and our blanket yarn, and we're going to make a magic circle. So this is, we did a magic circle yesterday, but we're going to make a magic circle again, and I'm going to try to do it kind of slow for any new folks, just to show you how I do it here. Eight millimeter, it's an eight millimeter hook. This is Clover brand, <clears throat> 8.0. Okay, now we're gonna chain one. Now we're going to single crochet eight times into the middle of our magic circle. After we do the this little first row here, we will switch gears again and do a giveaway. Okay, that's two. So you notice that I yarn under instead of the traditional yarn over. I'll probably say yarn over while I'm doing it, but still yarn under. It's totally fine. You yarn over or under in the way that's most comfortable for you. It will not affect your finished crafty facial round. Blanket yarn is a little bit like faux fur yarn in the way that it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. Um, but it's not impossible, and you can see it, and you can feel it. You just got to know what you're looking for, and you do know because you are a crocheter. So let's count how many stitches I just did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now we're going to close our magic circle shut, and then we, oh, ooh, then we're going to join, close the toe to your magic circle. Joining to the top of your first single crochet, which is this one right here, and I will use a stitch marker to help us see our stitches. So we're going to join here, we're going to chain one, okay, and we're going to turn our work. We're going to turn it. That's going to help it lay flat when we go back and forth. Hola, Chile! I hope I said that okay. My, my friend Alfredo is from Chile, and he says Chile, so I said Chile. Okay, let's do a giveaway. Quick rules for the giveaway. I have some numbers here in this basket. I'm going to draw the number. The first person to get to the closest of the number without going over is going to win the PDF pattern for this thing. So the first one is the PDF pattern. Then Sierra is going to be watching everybody to see who got the closest without going over first. That's the goal. Um, if you if two people say the same number, whoever said it first is gonna gonna win. So if you see that you say the same number after somebody else, maybe guess a different number. Um, also, if you win, Sierra's gonna reach out to you and ask you to do this. But I need your name, your IG handle, what prize you won, and your address, either your email address or your physical address, depending upon if you got the PDF or the sticker. Um, that was a little bit of a hot mess express yesterday. So your name your IG handle, what product that you won, and how I get it to you, either email address or um, uh, email address or physical address. Also, Sierra, when I say stop, you can type stop in the comments and we will know anybody after that doesn't count, okay? And I know that there is a lag, but hopefully it'll all just work out. So after Sierra types the word stop in the comments, any question after that, any insert after that will not be counted. Okay, the numbers are 1 through 126. 1 through 126. I'm going to give us a good few minutes here to shuffle these bad boys up. Tomorrow, maybe Ava can draw because she'll be home for Saturday because no school. 1 through 126. Hey, Sierra, I'll just type stop. 
I'll type stop. I'm getting ready to draw it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, hitting stop. Anything after that is not counted. Let's grab one. 51. 51. If you guessed 51 or got the closest without going over, Sierra is going to be looking for you and she is going to contact you and let me know who won so I don't accidentally say the wrong person. And you get the PDF version of this pattern. So let me know and I will send it to you and we will do all the things and it will be fun time. Excellent. So while Sierra is doing that, let's go ahead and move on to round two. I guess row two. It's not in the round. Let me grab my stitch marker like I said I would. So now I can't even see. So I'm going to pull this out and see where my last stitch was. So my last stitch is right here. That's where I'm going to put my stitch marker in my last stitch. That helps me know where the row ends. I'm going to join in the top of the first stitch. Chain one and turn our work. Work. Okay, now it's not 15, it's 51. I know how I write, how I write my fives. <clears throat> I put lines on the ones that were like 69, so we would know for sure. Um, but I, the ones that I know my handwriting, I know that that's a 51. Okay, for row two, we are going to increase in each stitch all the way around. So we chained our work. This is our first stitch because we chained our work. We turned our work. So that's, I guess, I guess I need to, I don't know. That's good though. It'll mark my first stitch. So that's fine. And we'll start because this is like not a stitch. That's a different thing. Oh, Sierra said Patty's, ch Patty, Pat is heck. Pat, check. Mm. Congratulations. You are the winner. Woohoo. Okay. So we are going to insert our hook into the first stitch. And that's where we're going to place our single crochet increase <clears throat> so we're going to yarn over or under whatever pull up our yarn that's one and i'm going to go ahead and mark that stitch so i know that was my first stitch because i keep chaining i keep turning so i think that'll be easier and then we're going to go in again into the exact same stitch that's two and that is our increase so we're going to put two single crochet stitches in the same spot then we're going to do that again in the next space Yes, the videos will be available via replay here on Instagram and on YouTube if I can ever get the technology to work. But they're already on Instagram. Okay, and then the next one, this is three. So three stitches, three um, increases, which is giving us six total stitches. Now we've got another one for four. And remember, we're going to have eight total increases because we had eight stitches in the first round. This is five, two single crochets together. And I'm trying to keep my tension fairly relaxed just so it's not like stiff as a board. Okay, and then this one, and now I've lost count. <laughs> so we're going to have to recount them. I don't know if I need to go into this spot. I think I do, but let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I do. Perfect. I was just feeling for the hole that the V stitches make above this part of it. I can feel the hole when I squeeze that right there. We are making crafty facial rounds today. So I'm going to do two more. So an increase in this last stitch right here. One. Oh, and two. The lights are so much fun, Patty. Okay, and then we're going to remove our stitch marker, join into the top of our first single crochet, chain one, and now we're going to turn our work. So let me go ahead and pay attention to my last stitch. I keep doing that. So this over here was my last stitch. So that's where my first stitch is going to go in round three, row three. Chain one and turn our work. And now we are going to increase in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. 
That's going to be our repeat. Increase single, increase single, inc or single increase, sorry, same thing. So I'm going to remove this stitch marker because I now know where my first stitch is going to go, and that's where I'm going to place a increase. So we're putting two single crochets in this spot right here. That's one, and that's two. And then I'm going to mark the first one so I know where my round, my row ends. This is really squishy. Like, I love using this yarn on my skin. Anything that has to do with my skin. Headbands. Um, I want to make myself those little scrunchy things that keep water from dripping down your hands with this yarn. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. Now we're going to increase in the next stitch. And that is our first repeat. We're going to do that seven more times for a total of eight repeats, giving us a total of 24 stitches in the row. So we're going to increase here in the next stitch. One two just like that all in the same spot and you can feel it if you squeeze the if you squeeze your work between your fingers you can feel the holes on your finger pads to, if you're not used to working with blanket yarn don't be intimidated now we're just gonna single crow crochet because this it's really fun to broaden the types of yarns that you use i used um i love this yarn for like the first 10 years of my crocheting journey like from 16 on I never tried another one because I just liked that yarn and I was like I can make anything I want with this yarn there's no need to try a different yarn and I love this yarn is great yarn be soft and sleek is great I yarn be soft and sleek is my favorite yarn on the planet but it's really fun to branch out and try different yarns so don't be don't be scared this is a really good starter project if you're not used to using the blanket yarn because it's so, so simple, and it'd be good practice to help you get a feel for the stitches. It's also, you're using a big hook, so the holes are very big. You can feel them. You can't see them because the yarn is fluffy, but the holes are very big. You can you can wash these in the dish, or the dishwasher, the washer and dryer. You can put them, you can wash and dry them. I will say that the more you wash and dry them, the harder they get, so the life of them would be shorter i guess if you wash them and then laid flat to dry they would probably have a little bit of a longer lifespan um, but i wash and dry i bleach mine y'all no don't judge me we bleach our whites just a little bit i know it's not the best you know chemical but i bleach these guys and they still hold up but they do get hard the more you wash and dry and bleach them <laughs> so the the life the life expectancy might be different I do not hand wash. I wash them in the washer and dryer. Okay, we are back to the beginning. I'm just going to double check. It should be 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, that can't be right. It should be 24. I'm going to do it again. 1, 2. Did I not increase there? Oh, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Well, I've miscounted somewhere. So I'm just going to add another stitch right here. It's going to be fine. This, this yarn is really squishy and puffy, so you're not going to see it. So I'm going to add another, yeah, squeaky clean. <laughs> I'm going to add another single crochet right in that same spot. So I think I'm technically doing increase, increase, but it's completely okay. You could also, I mean, it, it truly doesn't matter. It's still going to work out perfectly. And now I have the right number of stitches. This is better. Yeah, this is on YouTube. This is better than frogging and restarting because it's not that important because it, you're, nobody's going to know. Even a fellow crocheter would not be able to tell. So we are all good. We're going to join into the top of our first stitch after we go ahead and mark our last stitch, which I think this is the last round with the blanket yarn, and then we're gonna switch to the cotton yarn, but just in case. I'm gonna join into the top of my first stitch. Okay. I do I do recommend the cotton border still. I like the cotton border. Oh sorry. I don't recommend doing the crab stitch border 
which is what I did originally when I released this pattern in like 2016 or something like that. The crab stitch is just like a backwards single crochet and it creates some really fun twisted texture. That I do not recommend because it does kind of hurt your face. So we just changed to single crochets. Now we just do single crochets. So I joined and I chained one. Join to top your first, tie off and sew in your tails. So we are going to tie off. I'm just gonna use my scissors this time and cut that off and then pull this all the way through. And now we are ready for our single crochet border. But before we do that, let's do another giveaway. This time we're gonna give away the Yarnivore. Oh good, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love trying the blanket yarn. This time we're gonna give away the Yarnivore sticker. Isn't he cute? I just love this little guy. He's a little sweetie pie. Okay, same rules apply as last time. You can go now. One through 126. We will give you a little bit. I will sew in my tail while you guys are guessing. And then I will text the word stop. And then any number after the word stop does not count. So numbers 1 through 126. Closest without going over. And, they, and then you will win the Yarnivore sticker, and you will need to message me and or Sierra, tell me your name, your Instagram handle, what product that you won, and your shipping address so I can get it to you in the mail. That is all the information I'm going to need from you. Okay, I'm going to count to 10, and then I'm going to say stop. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, stop. S T O P, post. Okay, here we go. One through 126, and the winner is 110. 110 is the winner. Good job. 110, Sierra will be reaching out to you. You won this dinosaur sticker. Please don't forget to tell me what product that you want. Because. <laughs> It is a struggle to try to remember. Also, my technology isn't great for some reason, and I can't easily rewatch the live to figure out what product it was. So it is, it is a whole thing here, and it is killing me. But I have it on my to-do list to call my cable people today so we can figure out what's going on with my internet and how to make it better. Okay, so I closed in my tail. Now I'm going to sew in this tail. And then we are going to add our single crochet border. Again, I'm using Dishy Cotton. I have an affiliate link for that. Sierra might actually have access to it, so she can probably put it in the comments for you guys. Sierra, it's on the master spreadsheet, if that's helpful for you. Um, and then if you shop for Dishy Cotton through that link, I will get a small commission from We Crochet at no extra cost to you. I love when we can help each other get paid by other companies. That is my favorite thing. Um, Brittany, Brittany Tyler is our winner. Good job, Brittany. Thanks, Sierra, for being so helpful. Okay. Now we are going to cut that off. Got it sewn in with my tapestry needle. I highly recommend using a tapestry needle to sew in your tails. When I first started crocheting, I just used my crochet hook. Um, but this is extremely more, like, extremely more. Faster, precise, stronger, and more efficient. I really recommend, I really recommend the um, tapestry needle. Uh, Marin says they're having trouble with the video. Is anybody else having trouble with the video? Are you able to see and hear me well? Okay, so the fact that we chained and turned our work is why this is laying so flat. If we just went in the same way every time, it would be a little bit more curved. It's already going to like want to curl a little bit, especially after you wash it. But um, wh where, we t where we turned after each one, that's why it's kind of flat. Okay, the video's working good for other people. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys. Thanks for the feedback. Now we are going to join our yarn and do our border. And we're just going to do two single crochets in each stitch around. So it should be about 48. But I'm just going to go by my feelings. And if I feel like it needs more or less, we will go by that. And I will talk you through it. Oh! Okay. Okay. 
I love this yarn, but getting much trouble in working. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to use this hook here. I'm going to go in on the right side of my work. You could go in on the, the opposites, well, based on the last row. You could turn your work and do your, your um, single crochets this way. That might help with the curling because it's the opposite way of our last row. So this, this row would be the right side and then these two rows would be the wrong side. I just like to go this way. It honestly is personal preference. Nobody's gonna be able to tell. It feels like a little cookie. Um, nobody's gonna be able to know any different. So you can do, if you wanna turn yours and insert your hook that way you can. I'm just gonna keep going the way we were going. And we're going for 24, I mean 48, so 24 times two single crochets around. So I'm gonna grab my yarn and chain one. Now we're going to put two single crochet stitches in that same spot, and I'm keeping my tension kind of light. I'm not squeezing it to death. One, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna yarn under. I mean, I'm gonna yarn over. I'm gonna yarn over specifically because it's gonna give me a cleaner edge, and I will show you in just a second. So you know that I usually yarn under. That's that's the way I go, but I'm gonna yarn over intentionally for this for this part. Let me show you why. So I'm gonna yarn over, grab my yarn, pull through. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do two more and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Two more in the next stitch, keeping my tension fairly light. Okay, and then let me show you. It might be hard to tell with this variegated yarn, but you can clearly see the bottom V right here with the stitches very, very cleanly. If it wasn't variegated, you'd be able to see it even better. If it, if I yarned the other way, it would be a little bit twisted. And I really like the nice, clean look. Sometimes I, I'm very intentional about making sure my single crochets look the way I want. I also like them to look this way when I do um, the Wayne's coating stitch, or which I think is this stitch right here. So you, um, sometimes I do want to specifically yarn over instead of yarn under. That's one and two. Okay, so now we've got two, four, six, and we're gonna keep going all the way around until we have 48, three and four, unless I feel like we need to add or take away. So if for some reason with your tension and your hook and the yarn that you're using, if this is not laying, like not, it doesn't have to be flatter than a flitter, but it needs to not be like, clinching up, okay? If you were doing it too tight or with too small of a hook, it's gonna get clinchy. We don't want it clinchy, we want it smooth. So if yours is clinchy, feel free to, do you, do you do this to clean up the edge or is it to help the face scrubbing? Cleaning up the edge, Crafty Ninja. Um, I like, it adds style to the Crafty Face Around so it can like match your bathroom aesthetic if you wanted to, but it also helps your Crafty Face Around stay flatter after being washed and dried and not curl up as much. I have a bunch that do not have a border and they get very, very curly after I, um, after I, sorry, I think there's a situation. Hang on. Uh, I think somebody is upset about the giveaway, Sierra. We can just give two two stickers away. No big deal. Just get everybody's info and we'll send out two. It's very difficult, you guys, to try to watch these comments and to try to say, because there is a lag. Everybody's internet's different. Everybody's got messages coming in at the same time. We can't, it's really difficult. So she's doing the best that she can. And without her, it is an absolute disaster. Because if you were here yesterday, you saw me try to do a live, I mean, a giveaway by myself at the end without her. And it was an absolute mess. Like I ended up giving away three notebooks because I butchered it horribly. So we're going to give Sierra some grace here. I'm very thankful for her. Very happy that she's here. If you don't feel like it was done properly, you're welcome to send me an email about it. If you're upset and you didn't get the sticker that you wanted, just send me an email and we will work it out. But Sierra is doing the absolute best that she can, so let's not fuss at her. She is invaluable in this moment. So we're just gonna keep adding our single crochets until we get 48 total. I'm not even counting them because it truly doesn't matter. Um, what matters is we get all the way around and that it's laying nice and that every, every edge is covered, right? That's what matters. So I'm just gonna keep, 
sometimes we can get really caught up in the details and making sure it's perfect, but it's sometimes the pattern is just a guideline, right? Totally okay. All right, guys, I don't know what to do. I'm going to call my cable people today, though, I promise. This is Dishy Cotton. It is from We Crochet, and there's an affiliate link in the link in my bio. If you, um, here on Instagram, if you go to the very last page, you will see all kinds of different brands, and We Crochet is on, the, on that brand's list. So I am assuming this is going to be 48 stitches, because we went one time in each stitch all the way around. I'm assuming that's 48, but look, we have this little space here where we where we did our join. And if I just go straight into here to close her up, look at this. Look what's going to happen. It's going to be gappy. Like the you can tell that the yarn is straining to make that close. Can you see that? Can you see how this one is being really pulled and it's straining to make that close? We don't want we don't want any straining. We are going to add another another at least one Right here, I'm making my own spot. I'm just gonna shove it in there. It's totally okay. One. Okay, let's see how that looks. I'm gonna join into the top and give it a look and see if it still looks strained. And if it does, we'll add another one. Okay, let's see. I don't know, what do you think? I think we might need to add another one in there. If you, if you give it too many stitches, your border's gonna get wavy. And if you're going for wavy, like almost like um, like a, I don't know, a wavy trim, that's totally fine. But if you're not going for wavy and you get wavy, it's probably because you have too many stitches or too big of a hook or too less of tension, something like that. So we're going with two. See how that's a looking a little wavy right there? That's because I'm adding these extra stitches. But once everything gets settled, it's going to um, disperse properly. This is... Um, Bernat Blanket Yarn. Okay, so let's close her up and see. I might end up taking that extra one back out. I think that's good. I think that's good. We're going to go with that. So now we can cut our yarn, tie off, and sew in our last two tails, and voila. Now there is a cleaner way to do this, and you can YouTube it. I think it's like the magic tie off or the magic join off or something. There's... um. Yes, I am. I'm looking through my phone. You'll be able to see it in the YouTube video replay because I have another camera showing you me videoing my hands. So if you want to check it out on YouTube, you'll be able to see my whole setup. Also, I'm going to be sharing it as a reel today if I haven't already. I meant to do that before I went live. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, wait. Sorry for the, sorry for the interruption. Oh, I can zoom. Okay, so ah, you can't see. Oh man, my cat is over there in the field getting ready to sneak up on that horse. <laughs> and that horse couldn't care less. They are so chill, but my cat is walking around behind that horse. These horses are used to other animals coming in their field because we have like stray cats and dogs around, so the horse is not going to hurt it. But I am going to keep my eye on it really quickly. He's keeping his distance, my cat is. He walked around it close enough for him to know that he was there, but far enough for him to like not get kicked. He's trying to hunt, probably. Sweet boy. But they're okay. Everybody's okay. But I was just like, oh no, don't get kicked or stepped on. But those horses are actually child trained already. So in the springtime, they're my neighbor's horses. Now he's looking at the cat. He's just like looking at him like, okay, bro, go get your mouse. Um, in the springtime, the owner of the horses, they're on our property, but they're not our horses. Um, we just let them live here for free. And the owner is going to let us ride them in the spring. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Um, but we have two over there and I'm hoping, I'm hoping they'll let me like have free range on my property on their horse and just kind of like it would just be so breathtaking. I rode horses before it. It would not be my very first time. But anyways, back to this. My goodness. Thank you, Denise. Yes, the the replay is available on YouTube already. I mean, I'm sorry, Instagram. Instagram. It's available on Instagram already. Um, but the edited version is not available yet because it was taking five hours for my clips to upload. I'm struggling, y'all. I am struggling with the internet. I've been having the hardest time. Now we're going to sew in our tails and then we're going to do another giveaway. We're going to probably do two more because we said four, didn't we? 
So I'm just trying to go under the stitches, in between the threads of the cotton because there aren't any threads of the blanket yarn. Sorry. So I'm just going to... Yes, I still have my cow, sweet Esther. She lives with our goats. Um, they, she is rotten, but she's a sweetie pie. And she constantly smells like poop. So it's not it's not very joyful to go like love on her because then you smell like poop, which is fine at some times, but you have to be like prepared to smell like poop. You can't just go do it willy nilly, right? You have to like have a plan. So um, I don't get to love on her very often. It, also, she doesn't really like to be touched. She's still kind of working on that. Um, hopefully in the springtime, we can spend some more time out there with them. Okay, sewed in that first one. Now let's do the second one. Okay. Also, I was going to put lotion on my hands before my live and I forgot. So I got old crusty hands. Okay, going to sew in this last one. While I'm sewing in this last one, let's get ready for another PDF giveaway. So you can go ahead and start now. Numbers 1 through 126. You have to restart for each giveaway. Your previous numbers do not count towards this giveaway. That one is over. Also, these two numbers have already been pulled, so don't guess these two numbers. Um, 1 through 126. First person to get the closest without going over will get the PDF of this Crafty Facial Round pattern. We're going to give Sierra unlimited grace because this is not an easy job it is very stressful and very fast paced and she is doing a fabulous fabulous job and without her we would not be able to do giveaways at all so we are not going to um we're not going to you know be mad at sierra and if you have an issue please email me after and we will take care of it together okay one through 126 i'm going to count to 10 and then i'm going to Say the, the word stop, stop and, and then, then I'm going to comment the word stop, stop and, and then, then any number guessed after, after my stop, stop comment will not be submitted. submitted. Hello, are we back? Are we good? Okay, so sorry. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to stop S-T-O-P. Anything after S-T-O-P does not get counted. Okay, and now we're going to draw one. Here we go. Sorry, guys, about the internet. I'm frustrated. Trust me. 32, my current age. You are, if you got my age as your number, Sierra is going to be looking for you, doing her very best. 32 is the winner of the PDF for this pattern. Please let me know what you won, or we will have a huge mess on our hands Okay, and then I think, do you guys have any questions about the Crafty Facial Rounds? Like, this one was so much faster than yesterday. Yesterday's was literally two hours. I'm just going to go ahead and switch my camera now and chat with you guys face-to-face -face since we already did the entire live. How do you like my headband? How do you like my earrings? These were gifted to me by a fellow maker. Congrats, AC3 Salvador! Congratulations, excellent. Let me know what you won and all the things that I needed that I mentioned at the beginning, but Sierra will tell you too. Um, look at my Crocheamus t-shirt. Isn't that fun? I feel like, so I designed this, obviously it's it's my thing, um, but I feel like, yeah, 1990 girl, holla. I feel like it's a little wide because you have to like turn to see the crochet hook and I would rather it be like spot on so if I if I make another one, I will probably just kind of squish the design a little bit smaller and a little bit more, um, not tiny, but like just a smidgen smaller. But I really like it. I'm also rocking my PJs and my Grinch slippers, crafty boho slippers, because I can. I literally went around town yesterday in my PJs um, that I wore for our... Um, do I have white and white? No, I, this shirt isn't available. I can make it available if anybody wants one, but it, you won't get it until um, like two or three weeks. The shipping is not ideal, but um, I can make them available if you guys want, if anybody wants one. And I could make them available in white or black. Just let me know. I already have it mostly set up, so it wouldn't take me long to do that. Um, okay, crafty facial rounds.
that was fun. These are so practical. And if you want to, like, you can use these, you can put four in a pack and tie a pretty ribbon around them and sell them. You can get little gift boxes this time of year. Girl, this time of year, if you sell crafty facial rounds and you find the perfect size box that a set of four will fit in and that's sturdy enough for you to ship or cute enough for you to use as packaging at markets, Keep an eye for them to go on sale after Christmas because they might be marketed as Christmas boxes, even if they're just solid brown. Even if they're solid brown, they might be marketed as Christmas boxes. Made by Amy K. There's a full video tutorial on my YouTube. If you search in my in my blog, if you search um, Christmas light headband, you will find it. There's now two Christmas light patterns on my blog. One for the headband and one just for the Christmas light. It's the same pattern. The pictures are made with different colors, so that might it, might, it, might make it easier to see. Um, but the marketing and the keywords are completely different to help me show up in different um, search results. So they're both on my blog. You'll be able to find them. Um, so yes, look for boxes. Go take these to Hobby Lobby and go put them in boxes and see. And then be like, okay, when... The day after Christmas or whenever they open up after Christmas, I'm coming to buy these boxes at 90% off and buy them all. Because you can sell these year round. And they don't have to be, they don't have to be, um, just because they're marketed as Christmas boxes doesn't mean they have to be Christmas boxes. There seems to be a lady speaking in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, so I'm not able to um, understand her. Maybe she's speaking Puerto Rican. But if anybody else, oh, they're speaking Spanish together. Excellent. Thank you, Denise, for doing that. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize there was a conversation happening. I appreciate you guys. I can, and if somebody wants to translate for me, I can add Spanish and any other language that I want subtitles to my YouTube videos. It only takes me about 10 minutes. So if that is something that you ever need, um, just let me know. She doesn't understand you. I'm aware. I only speak English. I'm sorry. Lo siento. English only. I wish that I could speak Spanish. Like that is on my bucket list. But I can give Spanish subtitles on the YouTube video. So I will put this, when this goes on YouTube, will you let her know, Denise, that when I put this on YouTube, I will put Spanish subtitles so she can watch the whole video again with Spanish subtitles. No esta Hobby Lobby, she's probably saying she doesn't have a Hobby Lobby, right? Walmart, um, any any craft store or a store where you get Christmas decorations, holiday decorations, look for boxes. Okay, lots of, you guys are fantastic. I love this community. Thank you so much for helping me. Um, <laughs> okay, listen, I did have, I was sharing my stickers one time and I have a couple hooker stickers and there was English second language people and they were confused on the joke. For hooker because it didn't translate properly that was a very uncomfortable conversation that i i had but i'm here for it like uncomfortable or not we will you guys are the best i love you dearly thank you so much and muchas gracias to the friend that's hanging out even though she doesn't speak english and i don't speak spanish muchas gracias muy bien it's very little Spanish. Yes, these are reusable. You can get them wet with warm water and you can remove your makeup. You can rinse your face. I did not make my earrings um, machine washable and dryable. Dryable. We love we Spanish speakers follow you. Ah, thank you. I want to learn Spanish so bad. I will make it a priority. Like I will figure that out. I don't know if I need to get like Rosetta Stone or if I need, I would really like for it to be something I could do on my own time at home and not like have to get with a tutor or whatever. Um, but I know the best way to learn a language is just to be immersed in the culture. I learned American Sign Language at college, um, and all of our teachers did not speak. They were all deaf, and most of them were deaf, and they just signed the whole time. We had a translator for day one, just so we could understand what to expect in the class, and then after that, just, um, just, uh, sign language the whole time. It was really cool. Um, I don't know, okay, we're getting close to the hour mark, and that's when things get, oh, thank you, muchas gracias. I used to work in the food industry. Also, um, we had a lot of Hispanic workers that were building our house and we got really close to them. The, they're clean and they're really tight. Like these are really tight. I can't remember who made them for me, but maybe if she ever comes to me, it was a couple years ago, but if she ever comes to me and tells me, um, hey, I was the one that made those for you, I will try to share it with you guys. Let's do one more giveaway because we still have a crochet and a sticker. We're going to do one more giveaway, Sierra. 
get your get your listening ears, whatever. Yay for ASL. I'm a teacher of the death in, in the death in Hawaii. That's so cool. It was the coolest experience of my life. I technically have a minor in ASL, but my major was general studies and my college wouldn't let you declare a minor if you had the major as general studies, but I took all of the required courses for the minor and I had all the correct hours for the minor. It's just not on my paperwork, um, but... I love it. I, I don't remember a lot of it, but sometimes it comes back to me when it, when, it need, when it needs to come back to me. And every now and then I've got to use it in public to like assist someone who's like ordering at somewhere and they're just not getting it. Like the other person is just not understanding. I can help a little bit. Or sometimes I just say, hi, I know a little sign language and I want to say have a good day. Like just, I love it. I love language. I love culture. It's very, very interesting to me. If I didn't have my full-time business that was also my biggest passion and I had time for a hobby, language or culture would probably be my hobby. If not, sewing. I would really like to get into sewing and I might end up doing that anyway. Um, okay, got the numbers coming in already. Numbers one through, yeah, I made crafty facial rounds today. Numbers one through 126, we've already done 51, 110, and 32. Those three have already been guessed, so they will not be in the giveaway. I'm going to keep mixing all of these numbers and hope that our internet doesn't cut out. And then I'm going to draw one. When I say, I'm going to count to 10, and then I'm going to say stop, and then I'm going to type stop in the comments. And any number that was submitted after I type stop does not count because we have to have a cutoff point or somebody might get closer after I stop. Do you know what I mean? So we, we got to have a cutoff point. So I will say stop in the comments. And then after that, it doesn't count. 1 through 126. You are going to win the Crochet Miss sticker. If you win the sticker, Sierra will reach out to you. I need to know your name, your email, um, your Instagram handle, which product you won. So Crochet Miss sticker. You can't just say sticker because we got two. Which product you won and your shipping address so I can send you said product. Sierra will let you know though for sure. So let's count to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. I'm going to say stop, S-T-O-P, send. There we go. No mas, numeros. Numeros? Got one. 56, yes. 56 is the number. 250 numbers today. Yesterday, all of our numbers went in like asymmetrical, not asymmetrical, ascending order, like shortest smallest to biggest. And today we had two in the 50s. That's cool. But 56 is the winning number. If you guessed 56, Sierra's going to find you. If you didn't, if you got close, she's going to find you. We're going to figure it out. We're going to give grace and we're going to be polite and kind to one another. And if there's an issue, we're going to email Ashley at ashley at craftyconcept.com and we will take care of it privately via email. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you had as much fun today for day two as you did yesterday for day one. Just a quick reminder, we made these yesterday. Pause for a photo op. Yeah. And we made these today. I have to do this for the cover photo of my life. Um, awesome. This pattern is live on my blog. It is the most recent one. I haven't added it to the free tabs. The free, um, is there more than one guess? Um, we hadn't thought that one all the way through. I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll do that one tomorrow. Um, we'll, we'll give that roll tomorrow. We'll, we'll just like make it a little bit clearer tomorrow. Um, we're learning as we go, baby. And the next Crochet Miss 2023 will be a little bit smoother. And everyone after that will be a little bit smoother. Okay, don't forget to check your inbox because I did send you Patty again. Oh, my goodness. What a lucky, lucky girl. If I did, um, oh, I did send out this email this morning. And it has the free product tags. Do you guys want to see them here? Let me see if I can pull them up to show you what they look like. I should have saved them to my my device and I didn't. But they are listed on Etsy as a, a purchasable, purchasable PDF. So let me go to my Etsy shop, etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash a crafty concept. I guess I could have went to my blog. That was stupid. It's on my blog too. Okay. Um, that's the Christmas lights. Here we go. So we have, I had it here also in person, but I had to take it off so I could put my lights on my head. Anyway, this is what we got. 
So it's a tag that you can cut out and wrap around your, here we go, here's a whole video. Wrap around your Christmas lights. Like if you make a string, if you make a string of Christmas lights, you can clump them together with your, with this tag here and show your customers how big their light string is. So that see, it's got the information on the back. Price and size. And it will help you. Um, you could also put a hole punch in that middle spot and hang it like on a board or something at your markets if that was an option for the space that you have. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's in your inbox already. If you are not on the Crochetmas email list and you do not want to miss out on any more of these freebies, I'm sending a freebie with every single email for the next we got eight days left. So two have already went out. We got eight more to go. You can sign up to my email list or to the Crochet Miss VIP list by going to a craftyconcept.com forward slash crochet must sign up or by clicking the link in my bio here on Instagram. It will be the first thing that you see. Yesterday, embarrassingly, I showed this and the link was wrong and it had been wrong for the whole two weeks that I have been promoting Crochet Miss, but it is now correct. So if you go to the link in my bio and you click on a crafty, did I just click on Berea? Okay, crafty links and it loads, and then it says, join me for Crochetmas. And if you click here, sign me up. It's gonna take you to the correct sign up page, and that will get you on the Crochetmas VIP list, and you will get all the freebies that I send out over the next eight days. Um, I will not be sending the pre, so today, if you got today's email and you didn't get yesterday's email, I sent a link to yesterday's email in today's email. So it's at the very bottom of your email. I will not be doing that every day, because it's extremely time consuming and I can't schedule the emails in advance, which is gonna make more room for um, mistakes, right? So when I can do it in advance, there's gonna be less mistakes. And, um, oh, my back. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted from also reading comments. Oh, but if you don't get a freebie that you want, it's also available in the blog post. So the Christmas lights tags that I just sent out this today are also available in the Christmas light blog post. So all of the freebies that I send out today are available on my blog. You're just gonna have to go to the, the coordinating blog post and sign up on that email list instead of the crochet miss one. So you can still get all of them anytime. Um, okay. Tomorrow I will make more clear on the giveaway instructions or if it if it creates um, if it creates a hateful atmosphere, we will just have to stop doing giveaways. So hopefully we, that won't be the case, and we won't have to stop doing giveaways because they're really fun for me, and they're really fun for the winners, and they're exciting for everybody because like, oh no, is my number going to get drawn? It's so much fun. Um, so hopefully we don't have to stop doing the giveaways. But I will try to be clearer tomorrow. I was a little clearer today than I was yesterday, and tomorrow I will be a little bit clearer tomorrow than what I was today. So we are learning all together. This is brand new, first time doing crochet miss. Everything is happening live. I'm just happy you're here. I hope you have an amazing, what is today? Friday, and I will see you tomorrow for our live. I don't remember which pattern we're doing, but it's at, I think it's at 10 a.m., but don't don't be for sure. I, go check your um, calendar because I sent it out to you. Okay, I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Thanks for being here, bye. <laughs>